What's going on everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here, and finally we have updated firmware for all the Apollo Mini Miners. Now we do know all the V-Series here already have Octospace support as of the last firmware, but we have new firmware available now, so I am going to update my V1H as well. But the big story is X1 support for Octospace is finally here, so I will have all this firmware available on my website, link in the description by the time this video releases, but for now, let's update this starting with the X1. So we're going to come down here and find firmware upgrade, and then I'm simply going to flash the image. We're going to go to browse files, download, and it is the Orange Pi version firmware right here, so we're going to open this bad boy up here, upload it, wait for it to do its thing. Verifying this thing. Now, I always uncheck. Now, it does start to save files and stuff. I just find mining any ASIC or not mining, but updating the firmware and anything, I always uncheck that and then make sure I put the settings in afterwards. It just lets everything run more smoothly. That's what I find. You know, you can do whatever you want and click it, but I'm suggesting keep it unchecked. So, we're going to continue that. Let us do its thing. While it's doing its thing, let's quickly do the V1H because I'm going to do them both at the same time. So, now we're going to flash the image. Obviously, you don't want to mix these up they do use different firmware i am now putting in 1.24.145 and right now i'm on 0 0.119142 so again 124.145 is the latest firmware for the v1 versions and the orange pie is for the x1s they do use different firmware so we're going to open up camp upload that ordelio let it do its thing remember uncheck that box hit the continue and now wait it out okay so it looks like the latest version is installed on both of them here is the v1h 124.145 and here is the x1 version 2.101.56 so now we got to set up our miner so i'm going to go into miner config here we are going to be using make sure you're on the right one eth hash for this and then we're going to pull this back it looks like it saved all my settings here so i want to remain you know i'm just going to get rid of that we want to keep the x I'm going to go to US Crazy Pool, so 5225 right there. And I already have my worker address and everything in here. Now you can see it's saying Jazzminer underscore X16Q. So if you're unfamiliar with Crazy Pool, there's different ports depending on the miner that you're using. That's tweaked for Zill mining. Uh, the Apollos do require a little bit more time to load the DAG than the Jazzminer X16. So for this, I'm going to have to load Apollo underscore and then my rig name. If you're on a Jazzminer X16, you use a Jazzminer underscore and then your rig name. That way it'll you know use the proper DAG loading uh arguments i guess is what it would be doing there just so it has the proper preload time type of thing so i'm going to scroll over here and adjust this instead of saying jazz minor underscore i want this to say ipollo underscore because this is an ipollo minor so ipollo underscore and this is x1 so there we go that looks like it's all correct we're in hash rate mode uh, we do have the option for energy or hash rate i do use energy we're going to save and apply those changes now i got to do the same thing for the v1h so we're just going to go to we're on eth hash already make sure you're on that get rid of all of this it looks like the v1 reset everything where the x1 did actually keep some settings there so that's one thing to keep in mind even though i had the box unchecked the v1h reset the x1 did not so now we're going to use us crazy pool again Put in the exact same thing, but adjust this to the V1H, V1H, and then I got to adjust this to Apollo. And it's always good to double and triple check to make sure you did it correctly. So I just want to make sure, yes, small letters, all small letters for the Apollo underscore here. So going back into the V1H, it is all small letters coming in and Apollo underscore V1H. Yep, password X with the Apollos. You must have a password in there or they will not run. So save and apply. That's it. Now I'm just going to wait and see if we are detected at the pool. I already know the V1H will. I'm just curious about the new firmware to make sure it does. But the big thing is seeing if the X1 will actually start hashing. Okay, so I was excited. Now I'm not. It looks like it is still broken on Octospace. It is not working. Even though it says it fixes the zero hash issue, it obviously doesn't because it has zero hash. Now I did get detected on a quick Zill round, as we can see right here, Apollo underscore X1, but we got zero when it comes to Octa. Only the V1H is being detected. So I'm going to wait a little longer and see maybe it takes two hours three days you know something stupid for it to start but right now it's looking like it's broken still
Okay, so it's been nine minutes. It's still not doing anything. The get works is going up. We have status alive. The stratum is true. Everything's it's reading everything, but it just won't hash at anything. Zero accepted. It won't even get a rejected shared. Zero rejected. Zero accepted. Refresh. Sixty one get works. So still broken, guys. I apologize to anyone on the X one. It still sucks. Well, for Octospace. You can still mine all the other coins, I think. Well, you can mine ETC for sure. I haven't tried a lot of the other coins. There is a coin that's been pumping lately. If we look at the X16Q, we can see this EGAS. They actually got a partnership with Dynex going on with some AI stuff. It did see a price pump for the past few days, and it's currently looking like the top ETHash coin to mine for profitability. How will the future hold for it? That's still to be undec undecided here. We'll have to wait for the bull run, but... Right now, that coin may be mineable. Maybe I'll try it out and see if it actually works for that, but I don't know. Right now, this was about Octospace, new firmware. It is broken. And just to show you right here, you know, straight on their website, solving the problem of Octa's no hash rate. So, solving the problem. I'd like to know what they solved because right here, it looks like nothing has been solved. Anyway, thank you for checking out this video, guys. I th All right, guys. So, upon further investigation, when I was editing the video, I was looking at the before the flash and after the flash on the X1, and I seen it was the same firmware. Did you guys catch that? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section, or, or maybe you already did, and mention that that was already a thing. So, I was going on to here, and the orange pie that does connect to the X1, it's kind of weird, but it has an SD card in it. So, I'm actually going to download the SD card version and flash that and put it in and see if we actually update and get this to work so in order to do so i already downloaded that so i'm going to bring up this little win32 disk imager tool and we're simply going to find my downloads here orange pie this we're going to open that and now i got to select the device it's on yes it's on i there so now i'm just going to hit right and this should work want to physical can corrupt the device yeah yeah yes we're going to do that hopefully we don't corrupt it right successful so there we go. So now, hopefully, I'm going to put this back in the X1, and hopefully, it'll begin mining, and hopefully, it's even upgraded in the first place, and we didn't corrupt it. All right, so we're loaded up, and we do have updated numbers in the firmware version, 2.125.67. So it looks like, yes, you do have to update the SD card if using the Orange Pi. So now, let's set up our miner again, and hopefully, this begins working. Okay, guys, so there we go. We do have liftoff. You can see that we do have four accepted shares, 21 get works, and it is working. There's not 38 minutes till the next Zill round. Nope, 37 minutes minus one. We're not quite detected on the pool side for Okta yet, or maybe we are. Okay, yeah, so we are detected now at... You can see I did shut off that V1H, but the X1 is detected. So it is working. This firmware is now working. All you had to do was update the SD card in the Pi version if that's what you're using. So, you know, I'm glad I kind of went through this. I could have edited out all the crap earlier and just, you know, made myself look masterpiece. But, you know, if I messed up, I'm sure other people are going to mess up too. So hopefully this does help you out. And I apologize earlier, my mic for the segment before this, it blew up. I don't know. I'm starting to not feel good. Throat's getting sore. And then all of a sudden my computer started doing wonky stuff. But then I got it fixed and now I'm re-recording it for the like thousandth time. Anyway, thank you for checking out this video, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Rabbit out.